Overland is a turn-based survival game with procedurally generated levels, and I think when it comes down to it, it's all about forcing the player to make really tough choices. I couldn't help to become really attached to some of my squad members, and having to leave them behind really was painful. And I say that because you're almost guaranteed in every single journey you take in Overland to lose at least one member of your squad if you don't lose all of them at the same time. That's definitely a likely possibility. So we're going to start up a new game. Basically, this is a post-apocalyptic world inside of North America, and our most... Uh, important resource to be keeping in mind will be fuel. So we're driving across the country in this little beat up car thingy. And we can get different types of cars that can hold more things, better cars, uh, but fuel is going to be the most valuable resource in this campaign. Okay, so these are these little bug things. This is the post-apocalyptic part of, uh, of this whole region. Oh my goodness, we're starting off with a dog. This is going to be precious. Okay, so uh, yes, we can recruit dogs into our party. Uh, we have George here. So George has a, we have a first aid kit already inside the car apparently. Uh, everybody has their own traits. I don't know if the dogs do. We're going to find out right now. Uh, so George has, uh, his, skill, his skill is shortcuts, which means we use less fuel on detours. And we'll go over detours uh, in a few minutes. So we can also use CPR to bring back fallen survivors with George. So George is pretty good. Uh, our main character starts off with a backpack, so he can hold two items. Most other characters can only hold one. Okay, so we're going to leave the car. Normally the car is pretty safe. But we're going to have to leave it. And uh, we're going to recruit this little doggy. Oh, man. This is already setting up to be a, just a depressing game <laughs> here. I always, I never can sacrifice the dog. Okay, so here's Charlotte. Uh, has a pretty good nose. Maybe six years old. Everyone has uh, their own description, by the way. So George was struck by lightning once. Likes how big this guy's... This guy seems now. <laughs> All right, so uh, the dog is actually pretty useful. It's not like he's not useful. He can't go after enemies, uh, but he's able to uh, to get himself scavenged for items, and uh, and he's a lot of help. We're gonna want to go into the shed and figure out what's going on inside of there. Uh, there's some sticks and some bottles on the ground. We can pick up those objects to help us fight. Uh, now I didn't mention yet that one of the most important things we got to keep in mind are that these bugs make noises when they die. Almost. They, they, they don't always, but they usually make noises when they die. And just in general, when you're doing things around the map, sometimes you make noises. Uh, that is the fastest way to get yourself killed. So, you know, you're, we're in this post-apocalyptic world. Uh, if we make too much noise, more enemies will come, and, uh, and then we're screwed. So we got to be careful in that sense. Okay, so Charlotte's going to go out and figure out what's going on in these leaves. Anything special? Um, it doesn't look like it. No, there's a wood. Oh, perfect. A wooden shield. Oh, those are good. Okay. This is a pretty interesting start so far. We started with a dog and a wooden shield, which is a pretty somewhat unique item here. So that we could give that to George. George can hold that and then he can, you know, use that to, uh, to block enemies and things like that. Um, we probably want to get a stick. I might actually have to kill this, this first bug. Uh, yeah. So there's a stick right here. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to show off how to kill now the sticks will uh, will eventually break. Uh, they can only kill these small enemy types, so that's something we need to keep in mind. You know, I might also want to drop off. What do we find? And we found a rock. Perfect. Okay, so Charlotte's gonna run over here by George and give him the uh, the wooden shield. Now uh, I should mention this is not a very scary episode. We should be. I'm sorry, a very scary uh, scene. This this is not a big deal. I should be able to drop that. I think there is a way for me to give it to him. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we should be absolutely fine in this first scenario. I'm going to stay right here. So I still have a stick and, uh, and my shield. And then Charlotte has the rock, which I don't think, which I don't think she can do anything with the rock. So she's just going to go back inside the car and I'm going to show off how to kill these things. So boom, you gonna die. Bam, you're dead. And then I guess, I don't know if they come out of the ground. I don't really know the backstory behind why that, that happens. Uh, anyways. Okay. So we're going to go back towards the shed. Our car, or I'm sorry, our, uh, our little doggy, Charlotte, is going to go inside the car. I love that. She can uh, she can just open up the door by herself. Pretty talented dog. I don't know. Maybe it was like a police dog or something like that. These dogs are pretty amazing. Okay, come on, Shed. Just have something useful. Yeah, for reals. Come on, let's see what we got. Give me some fuel or something. A bottle. That sucks. Okay, so uh, not the best. I mean, it's a very unique. I will say this is a pretty unique start to uh, Overland. So we have to turn on the car, and we are about to leave. Oh, I think we might have to... Do we have to wait a turn or something? I don't, I don't know. Okay, well, I don't think the dog can drive. And we're just going to bust through right here. Boom. All right. 
So now is the point where we talk about detours. So there are five, I think four or five different regions uh, that are going to hold different enemies and more challenges. This is the first region of North America all the way on the East Coast. So this is called the Woodlands and uh, we have to make several choices here. So our car only holds 15, I'm guessing, gallons. Uh, we can choose to go up north to, uh, to this site and that's going to cost me three fuel or we can go down here uh, that's going to cost me negative four fuel. It, gives us, uh, it also gives us a brief description of uh, what we might encounter. So useful items here, short drive, safe. I think I want to take the risk and, uh, and go for extra fuel because we didn't find fuel in the first site. So yeah, fuel cache or fuel cache, I don't know, closed road, this is, this is the, or closed road, this is a high risk uh, thing that we're doing, but I, I feel, I feel comfortable, I feel safe, so you can see as the fuel kind of goes down, I hope we find somebody too, I mean, I'm not saying I don't like dogs, I love dogs, oh boy, alright, this is going to be an interesting one, uh, again, these maps are procedurally generated, so I have no idea what I'm going to walk into every single time, um, so what I might do, uh, we want to send, I only see like one fuel. Actually, okay, the cars are over here. So I think we need to send Charlotte towards the, the gas. Oh, uh, man. The problem is that bug. Okay, so I'm going to try to bait. I'm going to try to bait these guys uh, away from that spot. Charlotte can open up, get the gas tank, and take it back into the uh, the car. She can obviously fill it, fill the car. Uh, okay, let's go to, let's go to George. And I'm going to start off, let's see, so you have a shield, we can push this guy back, I'm not super concerned. We can't kill this big one, we can't kill this big, uh, this big scary alien. Let's see what they do. That is not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted. Um, I can move here, but then I'm going to take a shot. Let's use George first. Okay, so I'm going to shove this guy back, bam, that is one of the usefulness of my wooden shields. We're going to check what's going on in here, perfect. So we found some fuel. We'll have to put the shield down for a second, but I think it's use, useful. You know, we might not need... So, I don't need that much fuel. Uh, okay, so Charlotte needs to get out of here. She's probably going to need to come... Actually, I can come here. So, they can't attack diagonally. These enemies in specific only have one action point. Okay, so I can move this. Uh, we'll fill this up. And then we should get an idea. So, we're back to 16. I didn't want to take a high risk scenario for only 16 fuel. We got to keep going here. But again, I don't want to kill anything. That's one of the good things about the shields is that we're just blocking enemies. You know, we're keeping a safe distance. We're not killing them. They're not making noises and they're not alerting uh, other bad things. Okay, so I'm going to come out over here. Charlotte's going to be doing some circles left and right. I don't really know what these, what the, this med kit, because since I already have one med kit, I don't think they'd let us pick up another one. Or maybe they do. Well, I guess we'll pick back the rock. Okay. Well, either way, I should be able to get that um, that fuel now. And let's get over here and start searching this. All right. How are we doing? So we can also revive. I need to keep in mind that we can revive people. Okay. So there's a enough gas probably. Oh, Charlotte's by herself. We need to be careful. Uh, I guess we'll come out over this way. I do not want to get cornered, man. I do not want to get cornered. We can't come here. All right, I'm gonna try to bait him in. Well, at least I can move here. I can, I can probably. Charlotte can probably run away. I think it's gonna be okay. We are blocked. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> um. Well, at the very least, I'm gonna move you here and let's see what they do. I'll, I'll, I'll save you, doggy. I'm gonna save you, little doggy. I'm not gonna. There's no way I can lose you. Oh goodness. Are you okay? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Now, can I pick this up? I think I should be able to pick this up and then still move. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna run over here. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we just barely squeezed it out. Oh man, if I lost the dog this early, I would just be so mad at myself. Okay, so we've got a fuel, uh, a fool fuel tank. Uh, we can just leave now. Yeah, so we can just leave now and uh, let's get inside the car and get out of here. Charlotte, you drive. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, turn on the car. I think we still need to wait. Okay, good. So, the big monsters can hit us. I think, I, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the big monsters can hit us after we uh, are in the 
are in the site and then go back into the car so we need to be careful with that so boom that was uh i think that was worth the risk for the most part look the dog is still holding on to the gas canister that's great okay so uh we can go we don't want more fuel so maybe yeah someone's stranded we definitely need somebody new because uh just one dog and one person ain't gonna be enough this is a, this is an interesting start a very unique start to overland but this ain't gonna be enough okay so day one we're approaching night uh if we can find a flare that would be really useful. There's looks like there's only one enemy here, so I think I think we'll be okay. Um, all right, so let's take George and let's have him go talk to this person. It's about time headed west. Uh, we can survive longer together. I'm Portia. Portia, is that your name? Is it really? Are you messing with me? Okay, let me take let me take the dog. Actually, you know what we'll do is uh, we'll take the dog. He's Charlotte's gonna drop this canister. That way, someone else can refuel. And then I'll go, I don't know, I'll go investigate over here. If there are no items on this map, then maybe Charlotte can go and pick up a stick and give it to uh, Portia or whatever. Hope I'm saying her name right. Okay, so I still have to invite her. Invite? Okay, so now we can control this, this nice lady. What is her description? So what are her traits like? She is energetic. One extra action point. That's like one of my favorite uh, traits in this game. So being energetic is really useful. So we can move further and do more things. Uh, invite almost anybody. Okay, that's good too. She's holding a bottle right now. We don't we don't need that. So pick up this and uh, we're gonna fill this up. Yeah, fill that up. Boom. So we should be good fuel wise for a while. Yeah, definitely for this region we should be safe. Uh, let's go ahead and check this. <coughs> check check this car. Now there's not always fuel in car. There could cars. There could be something else. But let's see if there is. That's that's okay. Hey, there's a glass bottle. Yep, that's nothing. Well, I don't. Yeah, I really don't care. All right, Charlotte, get in here. Figure out what's going on. A flare. Oh, perfect. Okay, that is exactly what we needed. Okay, because the next stop we make, uh, it will be nighttime. So we need to worry about that. Do we want to check this other car? Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. Let's go ahead and do it. Whoops. What the heck? Okay, well, that was not supposed to happen, but uh, I... <laughs> you're just really energetic. That's just how energetic she is. Okay, so we're going to want to use her, like, this this chick as much as possible. Can I search? Oh, I have to go all the way around. Yeah, that would be... Okay, I'm going to try to distract this bug. Uh, we can get George inside the car. I can also break these items here. So I can throw this, by the way. I can throw it at... Um, at enemies again I'm not trying to kill this thing because I don't know you, you never can tell like what's gonna pop out out the ed edges of the map uh, so making a lot of noise really is just the unsafe thing to do all around okay so Charlotte get in the car what are you doing you get in the car um, George so we can pull we can kill this thing now with another stick get another stick no we're just gonna leave yeah we're just yeah just get in the car okay that's fine please tell me this is worth it you know, maybe I shouldn't have gotten the car, now that I think about it. Well, you can move a lot, so I think it'll be a... You know, I don't really know. We're going to find out. A rock. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, at least you'll be able to get yourself out of the situation without having anyone's help or needing anyone's help. Okay, perfect. We can just leave. All right. So now is nighttime. Now is going to be nighttime. And our car is full, so we can't invite anybody else into uh, into the party. Oh, man. Yeah, so if you, uh, if you drive away with the same person that just got into the car, I believe that's why you have to turn on the car and then wait another turn before you can leave. So that's why it is somewhat useful to keep someone inside the car ready to go. Okay, so uh, useful items here. Short drive, safe. Um, this is, that's not super short. It's a little bit short. Uh, should be a fresh car here, close to the road, high risk. So this might mean there could be a van here. Vans are really, really nice because right now, as I said, this car can only hold three people. Or there, it could be, uh, what's that called, a hatchback? So that allows us to keep more items inside of the, the car. Either way, I think this might be a little bit... This is high risk? Let's go ahead and go with this high risk. Okay, wait a second. It's high risk at night. Uh, Drew's stupid. Drew's stupid. Drew's down to take the risk. Let's go ahead and try it. I don't know how this is going to go, uh, but we'll, we'll see. All right. So luckily we have a flare. But there's going to be at least three enemies somewhere in the dark, and uh, and we cannot see at all. So I think we should definitely take Charlotte out because uh, she does have the flare, and as well as, I hate to say it, but she's not as useful. Oh, that sounds horrible. Obviously, there's a big dude right here. Uh, we should be safe moving there. That's fine. Um, next thing we probably want to do is drop the flare. That doesn't cost any action points, right? No. Okay, good. And uh, let's move this way. Looks like we're okay. 
So uh, we want to take out, we want to keep George inside the car. I'm going to pull Portia out. She's going to pick up the flare, and that's going to give us a little bit more vis visibility. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's go ahead and do it. So what do we got? So it looks like we've got some leaves. Uh, if we can find this, this vehicle, well, first of all, I don't know if it's any good. That's the thing. We're going to have to see just how useful it's going to be. I think a lot of the enemies are down towards this part of the road. Um, I'm going to move... Oh, geez. I don't know if I should, but... I'm going to move my dog first. Good. We can search through the leaves. What do we got? Arf, arf. What did you find? Oh, a bottle. That's... Yeah, that's not super useful. How are we doing? Everything looks safe for the most part okay so there's there's a baddie there's a baddie let's uh let's move out this way and she's gonna do that thing again <laughs> that's fine oh she dropped what the you dropped the flare okay well i see a bad guy right here where is where is the the car i guess that's why oh jeez. I mean, I want to know where the, the this this other car is. Yeah, this is not cool. I really don't like this. Honestly, I'm thinking about just leaving. Uh, I don't know why, how, why she dropped that. I don't know why she tried to get back in the car. Oh, this is not good. Um, Not leaving Charlotte behind. Don't want to do that. I can keep you... Yeah, we can go back and forth. You know what? I'm going to end my turn. Oh boy. All right, so we are now surrounded. I can get you inside the car, but again, the car can be attacked. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do it, Drew. You're going to upset so many people. I get, but we know that those are all the enemies. Okay, so here's our dog not knowing what to do. Okay. Okay, we're okay. I think I need to stay here for a turn. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Nice. We're out of here. Okay, that was a that was a bad choice. That was not the best of, of plans. Uh turn on the car. Let's get. Let's get. Alright, that was uh that was not good. Yeah, that didn't work out amazingly, but either way. <laughs> okay, so technically I could uh I could go for this end of the road. We don't have to make the detours. I can go straight over. Although I believe we're getting, we're using less fuel. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're losing. We're using a lot less fuel because of George. So this is, this has been pretty useful so far. Uh, useful items here. Short drive safe. Uh, someone stranded. Well, I can't take them anyways unless we intentionally leave Charlotte. Uh, I'm not willing to do that. I think we're going to do the end of the road challenge. Let's just go straight on through. Yep. We're gonna try it, and then uh, and then we after this we'd go to the next the next region. So the end of the road challenge usually has yeah something like this where there's a bunch of things in our way, uh, and there's a bunch of enemies. So it's very likely that we might not be able to make this with all of our characters. Um. Okay, so we've got to move these dumpster dumpsters and pro possibly search the dumpsters. We probably want... You know what? We're going to make a real quick move and take Portia out this way. Do we want that gas canister? I'm not concerned about that at first. The first thing I want to do is clear a path because we won't be able to get out of here if we don't clear a path first. Uh, so George is going to get out here. He's going to search this dumpster. And we could have started pulling it now, but... Oh, a bottle. Okay. Oh! Oh, we found a flammable bottle. Okay, well, that can kill the big dude. Which could be obviously really useful. Yeah, let's take Charlotte out and go after some of these gas canisters. Because we're going to need it. Because things do not get any easier. This is as easy as it gets, basically, is this first level. Alright, so let's go after this. Um, I'm going to come here and see where that big dude moves. Obviously, he's going to move right in our way figured that okay so we're gonna pick up the fuel run out over here now we want George to pull this oh that's right it's gonna make noises we need we need to pull it one more oh this is not good 
Okay, so uh, we should be seeing more baddies pop up. Okay, we need you to move, sir. Sir, we need you to move. Charlotte, you're done? Okay, so next turn. That is not the spot I wanted you to move in. We... Uh, we might need to use George to push... We might need to push this dumpster out the way. And let's get Charlotte probably back in the car, I think. You know, I'm going to stay there. I don't mind this spot. I'm going to stay there with her. Okay, so we... Uh, okay, so there comes some more. Here comes some more baddies. Okay, so I'm going to move here, and then we're going to pull this thing. I guess I can search the dumpster. Do we want to search it or move it? Well, she can't yet. Oh, perfect. You know what? George is going to search it, and then we'll move it with whichever character is we can. Um, do we still need a branch? Okay, well, there's a branch here just in case I get caught. I don't think I will. Yeah, we. I should still be able to leave. Can I get Charlotte back in the car? I don't think I can yet. Let's put you there. Uh, you have to... Okay, so we should be able to pull this and get out of range. Oh, boy. I think that's enough. I think if I get everybody in the car, that should be enough. Let's try it. We'd be getting a little bit of fuel. Um, you know, I could pull you again just to be safe. Let's do it. Oh, that's going to make no more noises. I forgot about that. That is going to make more noises, Drew. So maybe you should have thought. Uh, we can just leave by ourselves. Maybe not a good idea. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Not a cool. We got to be careful of all these enemies. Okay, Charlotte, get in the car. Perfect. Okay. And, uh, and now George is going to start it up. Now, I don't know if we can still move. Okay, so we're going to move right here. We might have to run over a bad guy. And, oh, that's right. I can pull her in. Now, well, is this still enough? No, I can't leave, leave. Oh, boy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, we did take a little bit of damage there, it looks like. Oh, man. All right, so we uh, we got out of that just barely. This is the region that I'm talking about. So we've got the Woodlands, the Great Plains. Oh, this is the introduction. I'm sorry. So uh, so now we're at the Plains, harder enemies, harder environments. Uh, we'll see how that goes in the next video. So we have our party established. Luckily, I didn't lose anybody just yet, but uh, that's only going to make it a lot harder when I have to say goodbye to somebody. Uh, or maybe they can all die together. It seems a little bit more happy to me. But anyways, we'll, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.